Week five, last stretch guys. I'm so ready for this. In audio this week, we learned about how sound waves can be converted into a signal and how you can do that is by microphones. So we looked at a diagram of a microphone and we actually saw the inside of it. It's nice to visualize what's happening um, in the microphone, like different parts are moving, you can see the energy flowing and it's tangible, so it's like really cool. We also learned how different mics work. For instance, the ribbon mic actually captures more high frequency than a moving coil microphone. And it's also better for studio-wise, the ribbon microphone, than live sound for audio. For audio, because it's more, it captures more frequencies and it's more warm. In Ditch Audio, we learned about MIDI sequences and how important it is to be used in a door. It's used to trigger different instruments and that's basically the key to digital audio. We also learned multi-track in door and the difference that I learned is that multi-track has MIDI and tracks have audio. We also touched on um, door automation and it looks so exciting because it's cool because you can trigger like different sounds to make it go louder or softer and you can even add like effects in like delay and reverb so that's kind of cool. Plugins guys, my favorite plugin is definitely delay because it gives so much character to it and there's so much energy as well. So in music we learned about syncopation and dotted and tied notes and that was pretty interesting um, but we also learned about like how to make a pattern strong or weak on the different beats it can go up and also how to make a rhythm upbeat. So syncopation is basically time. So I'll give you like the standard 4-4 four, four time. So it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then syncopation is 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and Okay. So in business, we learned about like what is in a song. So like who owns what parts um, of the song. So like the literary work, composition, the sound audio work. An example that was given to us was the Katy Perry song War. Um, we just looked at the literary work of how people kind of compose the song. There's different people. No, I lie. There was actually a lot of people that did different parts of the song. So it wasn't because I thought, oh, she would get different people, but it's actually the same people that would get used throughout, like the sound recording, the composition, it would be the same people. Because we just had to count what, who's the composer and the songwriter. That's what we had to do in the example. Week six, I'm kind of excited because I had a little sneak peek and I can't wait.